Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Dark Souls 2 lore through. Uh, before we do the Iron Keep today, I wanted to come back and um, take care of a couple things before we uh, move on. And one thing is that I looked into it, and you do have to buy some stuff from Moglin, Moglin uh, for him to start doing boss items and stuff like that and he gives you some other stuff so we'll just spend all of our souls here oh hello again uh. um, I mean I guess oops Like, how do you spend that many souls with him? I mean, I don't want to buy multiple stuff. I'm just trying to spend 16,000 souls. But I don't think that's... Okay, maybe, yeah, it's one of everything. Thanks very much. Well, thank you for coming back. Do take a look at my wares. <sighs> oh. Well, I, I... Maybe he reloads. But we also have uh, Gillian here, back from Harvest Valley. So let's talk to him. Wait. You found your way out, too. <laughs> the name's Gilligan. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> All right. What do you want? I have everything you need. <laughs> All right. We looked at all that stuff. Oh, I should have listened to the warnings. This place is flipping mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I thought, uh, at least here in the middle of nowhere, I could stay clear of, you know, my old pals. Oh, don't ask me what happened. Have you no discretion, my old chum? We learned earlier that he was, he was uh, on the run. He's like, oh, you're on the run, just like me, or whatever. I don't think the story goes anywhere, but it's just something about him. That gave hole. Hell, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses, or you know what. Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh, and, and those human statues. Who are they supposed to be? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. W what's it like at the bottom of the hole? I mean, why in the hell would I know? Oh, yeah. Somebody told me that the grave of, of, a, of a saint lies below here. <laughs> not, not built by the king, no, no. It did back to that time long before him. The tomb connects to that hole. And there's... There's something about some... Some rat king down there. Hell, <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say... Maybe I should go and pay him a visit. A rat king is a real thing, I found out. That is, it's a thing where rats' tails get inextricably tangled together, and then it just becomes this mass of rats. That's disgusting. Um, it does say there's a grave of saints uh, down there, and, uh, you know, we'll see that later. 
and even a skeleton down there that might be the saint he speaks of. We also, I think the bonfire ascetic, or the, um, the sublime bone dust talks about a saint that cast themselves into a fire. Not sure they're related, but um, maybe next time we get that, we'll read that again and see. Oh, I should have listened to the... Seen some... So you can ask him to put a ladder. He he. You want to go down that awful hole? You must have lost your marbles. <laughs> fine, yeah, fine. I'm happy to be of service. You need a ladder, then sure enough. But you'll uh, you'll have to show some generosity. So we could, the, you know, 500 base for the little ladder, 35, whatever. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just get out of here. Don't. Yeah. Um, all right. So I guess let's try to refresh this to see if we can get the armor. Otherwise, I'll try to do it when I come back here. Or maybe I need to buy like one more item, so I can just buy another shield or something. I don't know. Aha, there we go. Now he's sitting pretty. Um, sorry, have we met? Oh, sorry. It's just I've been awfully busy lately. Care to look over my wares? Please, be my guest. I upgraded my stock recently. Although it may be a bit out of your reach. <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich! <laughs> I don't need to go home anymore. Home? Home? Where? Where is home? Yeah, so I mean... We knew that he's from Volgan. He told us that, but he's already starting to forget, and he didn't really recognize us when we first came. So again, yet another person going hollow. I'm re home. So yeah, now he actually starts carrying armor. Um, so he has the Elite Knight set, which is the helm, or it's the set that, uh, I think it's just a generic set of Astora, but it's the one that Oscar was wearing in Dark Souls 1. Helmet made of bread and steel provides sturdy defense. Bread and steel is usually is used widely in Dring Lake. So maybe Astora, since it's made from ores mined in the Southern Kingdom, I'm not sure how much the physical world changes between, you know, the Age of Fire, Lordran, and Dring Lake, but maybe this is indicating that Astora is a south of where we're at right now. Armor made of bread and steel. Yep. All the same stuff. Then we have Alva's helm. Helm worn by Alva the Wayfarer. Light but offers high defense. Alva crossed many a land in search of a cure for Saint Sereta's sickness, but failed and relinquished his knighthood. Alva was once racked with guilt and remorse, but rediscovered his purpose in life with the aid of the witch who once plotted against him. So yeah, um, we'll see a bit more from Alva um, in the game and also in the next game. Um, but it names Saint Sereta, Sereta's directly here and I don't know I mean I guess we'll have to continue to look through Alva's stuff and see if it gives you anything in the grave of saints you get invaded but I think it's by Oris and not Alva so I don't know if that saint down there is Saint Sereta or if they're related or not I don't know I guess we'll see but yeah so there was a witch who plotted against him so could that be the Witch of Isolith? Could that be Witch Beatrice? Could that be a new witch? Uh, do we read Falconer? Yeah, and I 
I guess that maybe he was being he maybe he was an elite, an affluent elite before, and that he was being um, he had bodyguards or something. So now we get the penal mask and all this stuff. So this is the stuff of the lost sinner. Let's read what it says. Uh, Mask of the Lost Center. Uh, the spikes pointing inward suggest that this was not only used to bind prisoners, but to torture them as well. A tightly cinched belt presses against the waist. By now, no one knows who this was used to punish, or for what reason. Now, I think that the isolith was the bug that climbs into the face. So I actually think the body of the person that we fought is not... Is not the Witch of Isolith or it is not related. So it's interesting because it still implies that they were punished some way um, for the sin they committed, which I'm pretty sure we talked about before. It's been a while since I played, so I apologize if I repeat myself, but I would imagine that the, the sinner, the sin that they're speaking about is basically trying to recreate the, the first flame. Um, obviously at some point the Witch of Isolith regrets that as the chaos, you know, like, overwhelmed her and, and some of her daughters and such, so. And also, it was something that Koilana was kind of going against as well. You know, she didn't sell any chaos uh, things. So, um, yeah, anyway. So I'm not sure if the relation of this body that's being punished and then the bug that climbs into the face and then kind of possesses the body is necessarily related, but a device used to restrict use of hands. By now, no one knows who this was. Also, the handcuffs increase pyromancy, which is, you know. Tattered skirt that the guilty wear in shame. By now, no one knows who this was used for. Punished for what reason? Um, and that's it. So, but I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy something else. Just in case. Thanks for the purchase. Looking for armor? Because <laughs> I think there's a Are point. Sure? I think there's a point where it gives you Oris's armor, but I don't know if that's a new game plus or not. Alright, well let's let's just take on Iron Keep. I knew you. Thank you. Everyone helps. Every last one helps. Alright, so where are we at here? Yeah, and keep. Alright. I'm gonna attempt to parry here a little bit again. Kinda get back in the swing of things, so. There was a time where parrying on this game seems so intuitive. Okay, so things are different. Here. So, okay. I don't know if this is an NPC or not. Doesn't look like an NPC, they have the puzzle sword. But I guess it is the um, Shadow of the First Sin, or Scholar of the First Sin. That could just be, they just have a puzzle sorted person attack you. We'll see. OK, 
Okay, I'm starting to get it. I mean, it's definitely an earlier... Okay. Yeah, that was just someone. Um, oh no. That sucks. But I won't feel bad uh, healing. Well, this episode probably is going to be me learning Fencer Sharon's attacks. Um, so, what I'm trying to show each time here uh, before I get invaded is that the door here is the door that we found in Van. So that door right there is the same one we found in Hyde's Tower of Flame and also in the Lost Center fight. See, to me, that should have been a, uh, a parry, just in terms of timing. Ooh, nice dodge. Ugh, come on. As fun as I thought it was going to be. <sighs> Alright, so anyway, this is the same thing. It depicts some dragons, and maybe it looks like it's got the big circle on top and like the Celtic design. Okay, so yeah, I don't know any of the enemies appear on this. Or it doesn't heal. It doesn't do all of the damage. There we go. Does like 300 more damage to wait a second. Okay. This was a Pharaoh Slockstone, yep. Yeah.
And in here, we can see an enormous bull rising out of the uh, ground. And, uh, and then this is actually the boss arena. You can see the fog wall actually to exit. And there's this guy that we, we've heard of this guy's um, country before, but let's uh, talk to him. What? Who are you? Who, me? I'm Magarold. Who else? What? Have a look at my wares. So he's from Lanifer, Magarold. And he's the person that you, in a sense, your magics and stuff so we can lower the requirements so I could actually lower the requirement of great heavy soul arrow to be that of great soul arrow and uh, and then we can use it I think it scales the same though which is cool but I mean like I wouldn't have that much so it wouldn't scale as much as if I had a little bit more but he's got a bunch of stuff here so he sells kind of his set or a similar set to his oh no though no that actually is sold by someone else this is just good for if you because he's he's basically like i guess to me he seems more like patches and design that he kind of collects a bunch of different things from around i guess he's dominal in that sense but um this set is good for farming and stuff a boldly colored jester's cap. Jesters are more than festive fixtures. Some have a second face hidden from public view. Yeah, I guess there's uh, Jester Thomas that wears this. Okay, and then we have the spiked banded helm. Helmet of bandits of the frozen outskirts. The territory of Frosa became a law became lawless after the kingdom fell to war. Citizens became bandits and scattered to other lands. We're going to learn more about Ferosa for sure. All right, might even go there. Curse Bite. So yeah. The similar, oddly disturbing design of these rings suggests, suggests a common source. Whoever the master craftsman was, he clearly knew his trade. Um, let's see. So we've read this. So here's the carvings from... Um, the DLC uh, that were carved by Goth. Faces carved in the wood of aged trees, aged trees. They speak when thrown upon the ground. The fine craftsmanship of these face and faces is evident even after much aging, but no one knows even the name of the artist. Goth. Spoilers. This face says hello. Doesn't it look friendly? This voice, this face says thank you. Doesn't it look appreciative? This face says, I'm sorry, doesn't it look apologetic? This says, face is very good, doesn't it look cheerful? Yeah, they're a lot more expensive in this game. Uh, and I'm going to pick up one of these because uh, you can never have too many of those. Um, and then fall control. Oh uh, yeah, I think we read that. And we have dark hail and dark storm. A hex modified from an old sorcery by Galea the Hexer. Hexiting is rooted in sorcery and miracles. An esoteric spell created by Navlon, the infamous exiled sorcerer, creates a local vortex of dark flame. The heretic Navlon was executed along with his entire village, and the mere utterance of his name became a crime. Some say it was because he sought to restore the banned art of resurrection. Um, so yeah, I mean, he could be a heretic for a number of different reasons. I mean, he obviously was dealing with dark sorceries, which, um, you know, is already heretical to both miracles and to sorcery st uh, schools, as we've seen. But it also says that he, um, he was seeking to learn how to resurrect himself, which is very interesting. Uh, let's talk to Magarold. I mean me a treasure hunter, you see. I mean a merchant on the side. A ring a bang, looking for a find, following me instincts. 
I don't care what a thing's worth. What matters is whether it grabs me. Do I enjoy what I do? Well, that's a good question. I suppose I must. I, I've been doing it for ages. There's good iron in these parts. An old king even used it to build a castle. But the thing was too heavy. It slowly sank into the ground. Fire spiked it from the earth, and, and the place turned into this. At least, that's what I've been told. A bad story, eh? So, what'll it be? Anything for you today? We'll see more text that corroborates that story for sure. Hey, you know that old fella with the Hulking Blue Sword? Not yet, actually. He talks really oily a bit. I got a feeling it's a fake. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I just sort of talked around it. Let me just say, there are lots of legendary swords out there. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have, you know, at least gone and spoken to Hugo or Jugo, or uh, Bern Bernhard from Jugo or Hugo. Um, but yeah, basically, well, we'll talk to this guy and he's got a sword, but we have someone uh, kind of talking about the fact that it might be fake, which is interesting. Have you heard of the shrine on the eastern edge of Drang Lake? No. Built to honor the dragons, they say. Huh. <sighs> if only I knew how to get there. I'd, I'd go and I'd kill for good as. Well, Magarold, I'll tell you this. If we find anything, if we reach the shrine, I'll bring it back to you. I mean, the treasure. Do I enjoy it? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. All right. I know. I now no longer know whether this is the best way to go. Still a guy here. Are there more guys here? All right. Well, now I'm actually curious. Is oops. Oh. What am I doing? trying to do oh wow these guys even shoot you is there a guy up there anymore no interesting does this guy shoot you too okay oh there's someone coming This is different, but <laughs> all right. Well, okay. Seems like this guy already came. Oh god. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> that was lucky. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. There still is an item over there. I'm interested to see what that is. 
Okay. Maybe I get his katana. Ugh. No, the alone knight gauntlets. Oh, come on. All right. Someone is shooting at me. I'm just gonna do this. Petrified dragon bone. I can read the not like alone I got what's in here for sure. I should have gotten rid of all that stuff. Gauntlets worn by the Alon Knights. The the bonds of the Alon Knight Alon Knights, who served the old Iron King, were mightier than the land's iron. But in the end the knights were subsumed by the flames and brought the castle down. Hmm. Um, I guess let's go do this. So I'm probably just gonna end this with uh, Smelter Demon. Um, no, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Now I'm gonna walk up to that item. He's gonna shoot me. And then instantly uh, kill me. Oh, where? Oh, my. That was weird. I didn't know those caused bleeding. Covetous Serpent Ring? I don't think I do. Armor Dennis, who... I think we already got... Ugh. Oh my dear lord. Did we ever get invaded by Armored Dennis? And why does he invade? Is there just like a random invader? Because, okay, this place was where the, the, this is where main, a lot of the dueling went on, went down. Like people would put, place their signs down here and people would invade here on this bridge particularly because of this thing I guess. I'm mean, gonna have fight clubs there and stuff like that. Aha okay. So my theory is So this is the uh, this is the statue we saw in well similar at least 
that we saw in the uh, Lost Bastille. Oh, he recovered fast. What the fuck? Okay. Um, this looks like the one in the in uh, the Lost Bastille, except he was holding a sword and a scroll. So they said that Ven and the Elkin were founded by the same people, so I wonder if, or the same person, so I wonder if this is he, and this is he maybe in another state, I don't know. Oh, he's up there, that's why I was like, what? Okay. Here. So I guess, yeah, you can go up this way if you want him to. Oh, there's still this guy here. No, that's not the timing. Guess we'll see if we get um, invaded by someone else. Like if all the NPCs of the game rotate here, invading you. <laughs> Sorry if this is a little bit tedious uh, watching me try to parry badly, but I'm just trying to get a good, a good thing going so that. The rest of the game feels a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Oh, damn it. Don't kill me. Oh, there's an item there I didn't need yet. I felt like I was doing pretty good earlier, so that's why I'm attempting to try, but might not be worth my time. Okay, so hopefully I can... nope. They've really changed this area up so that 
it's harder to run through and do stuff, or at least I'm not familiar with it. <sighs> Way too late. Oh, and I'm gonna bleed. Oh, great. Three guys, that's that's gonna be easy. Oh, that still got me. Okay, please don't ever rubber band. Please just chase me all the way back to the bonfire and prevent me from Oh my dear lord. These guys always let out a, a very specific sound when they die. Not really sure what it is, or if it means anything, it probably doesn't. Huh. I wonder if I'll ever be able to get that one. By the way, there's obviously an item there, but that will kill us. And I don't even think, at least, I knew there was a way to suicide it in, in one in the original game, but I mean, why even? We can do it normally. Oops. Oh, there's yet another guy there. What's the exact strategy here? I'm not really sure. And with my build. I mean, fighting more than one of these guys is just brutal for me. I'm sure it's easy. I'm sure I'm just, oh, well that's one way to fight them. Just let them make them fall off. Okay. Oh, there's still a guy here, and there's a guy coming this way, right? No, okay, good. Okay. Not really sure why that landed. I don't think it should have. Oh my... <laughs> oh my god. This is, um... Hmm. Wow. Okay, and then this guy is... Oh my god. Oh, nice. Shooting me if you must. Huh. Well, maybe I should start exploring other areas of the game before I do this. Perfect. Perfectly in frame for him to hit me. Did they take away the. Oh. They take away the jump? They did. Really? At least that one hit I get. Oh, there's a guy that's fallen down there. 
Ooh, a lone captain helm. Actually, that's like... I think the captains drop at least the same... Oh, is he just down there? Okay. I think the Alone Knight captains uh, have wear this, or at least drop the same armor. And um, the only thing they drop separate, like, is the helm. Maybe not. Helmet worn by the captain of the Alone Knights. The accoutrement of the Lone Knights who served the Old Iron King were created with an advanced casting technique. They remain solid and handsomely crafted. The design is styled after the armor worn by an unusual knight who trained the Iron King's men in the sword. He was said to have deserted his liege after bearing witness to his descent into depravity. Interesting. Um, yeah, I hate making this jump. Okay, and this used to, okay, what? I'm gonna just be careful here. Okay. I probably could have been more careful. So, so now there's just a lot of dragon bones in this area. Hmm. Interesting. Now they have this chest up here, which makes sense. Is this going to be the Zyhander, or just... A straight sword with a very long blade, one of the few ultra-great swords. As his name suggests, the Zyhander is held with two hands, but its weight is such that even wielding it in this manner requires strength worthy of the blade. And once again, you have this kind of pool that you can create that heals you. Um, which I never use. Okay, well, let us uh, let's go into the fray. Let's use an Elizabeth mushroom. Why not? I mean, so here's another Lucatil fight. Doesn't always explode on that one. Just don't kill Luca Till. That's all I'm asking. Oops. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have a ton of time for this episode, and I realize that I'm just going to do one, like, silly run. Um, where I try to somehow do all this stuff and summon Lucatil and whatever and not kill anyone. See how that goes. I can't imagine this is going to be effective. Oops, headshot.
Oh yeah, they can hit you. Right. I forgot about that, uh, that subtlety of, uh, of Dark Souls 2. Alright, well, I just can't, uh, afford to do any more of this episode, so I will start next time by, uh, killing the Smelter Demon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.